the big motel there, you know? Mm-hmm. And there's, well, there, there's a road from there that goes towards Willa, you know, yep. Nangham, or on a tree or whatever. And how did you, did you just pick it and eat it directly? Or uh, you... Probably the leaves from these um, paper bark trees. Um, we get the eucalyptus flavour <laughs> out of it. They're very nice uh, for coals and that. Mm-hmm. The very classic thing is uh, the treatment for malaria. For uh, many years it is uh, the bark of the cinchona tree and the quinine is obtained from that. So there are plenty of examples uh, of uh, traditional medicine uh, having helped uh, formulating modern medicines. Yeah. Up. We had a mm. for every, was up at every well, these, uh, this one is Alagandi Island. Yep. I like the dark purple. Purple. See, there's a lot of these different sorts. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, the arthritis plant too, that's another one. That grows wild too everywhere. And anyone who's got arthritis, well, Mum was telling me, you wash that and eat that. And if you don't like to eat it like that, you could cut it up. You know, we have it with lettuce, but they used to cut it up and chew on it. A little, little leaf bush. It grows as a vine on the beach, and then when the brown, the leaf is brown, we pick it and we eat it. You can also eat it with salt, and it's supposed to be good for your blood. It's a good eating, little pig, uh, pigs. Um, we've had mixed results. So there's been some plants that we've tested that look as though they've got quite good activity. Um, others that haven't performed so well with the tests that we've done so far, but the thing is with a lot of these treatments is they're quite holistic. So for a wound treatment, it won't only be antibacterial necessarily. It could be anti-inflammatory and um, I guess debriding or have other properties that we haven't tested for yet. It is special in a way because when we get diseases or sicknesses, a um, lot of the research is done overseas, you know, in Brazil and Africa and things like that. Whereas we've got our own backyard here, see? And a lot of stuff uh, happens here uh, and could be done here. If a plant comes appears to have particularly good activity, then there's the chance also to, I guess, take that further and see whether we can isolate the compounds and then take it to the next level, potentially providing the key for new, new families of treatments. About that big, see? Okay, so that. Yeah, yeah, that size. A lot of our younger ones now are ended up are ending up marrying non-Aboriginal people, you know, and they're losing a lot of that, um, the cultural stuff. We found a few plants at Woolawaya that um, help with mosquito bites or insect bites, so that came in handy for me. Even the stories on the back up here are all the time. I reckon this would be good, like sort of put it in a booklet and put it in a DVD or a video. It'll be good because it lives on forever and that's what I want. Like it's, I want us to live on forever. Like keep it alive for our kids, for our next generation, next generation, the future. They use so many uh, medicinal plants for their uh, daily activities and for this project um, since we are uh, we are well equipped with uh, analyzing the antimicrobial activities of those plants 
we, uh, I decided to work on the antimicrobial activities uh, by using their knowledge. There's a lot of work being done at the moment in the development of new antibacterials to combat this problem, but I think it's important not to gloss over the information already held by um, societies around the world and um, treatments that are already widely in use um, that are perhaps glossed over by Western society today. They could hold the key or at least a clue to these new um, families of antibiotics that are needed. Obviously our forefathers have tried these and by trial and error they have eliminated uh, the ones that are likely to be harmful and they have honed in on those that uh, are likely to be more helpful. So by tapping into that knowledge, we are actually tapping into the information that has been processed and refined uh, through several hundreds and thousands of years of uh, human evolution.